Hi YouTubers, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you for joining me. Please help my channel by subscribing and liking my videos. There was a magnitude 5.1 earthquake there again in Iceland. It was at 2.27 a.m. local time, I believe. USGS had 35 people report it to them, whereas EMSC had about 95 reports. Because of my last video about the earthquakes occurring there in Iceland, I have gotten reports of damage, broken windows, things like that. And I also found um, a page about roads and their conditions. And there has, in fact, been warnings about rock falls. You can see it here. This is today. Possible rocks on the road after earthquake. Another one. Um, possible ro rocks on road after earthquake. And then up over here, the bridge has been damaged. Uh, maximum load is 10 tons. And that's probably because of the earthquake. Yeah, uh, they've had about 10,000 earthquakes uh, since this weekend. There is also reports about limiting the... Uh, weight limit for trucks semis things like that more than likely because of cracks that have developed in the road this one here is more recent this is a august 2nd until the third due to the risk of road damage some roads will have to reduce axle load and they give a link to the page that i showed you there homes and power are uh, heated and electricity generated by geothermal plants here's a a map showing the locations of many of those geothermal plants and i put them on um, google maps some of them some of them the recent earthquake was near the capital of iceland this 5.1 was 6.2 miles in depth this here let me bring it out up over here this is the capital the earthquake that I reported last was down over here. That's the 5.3. This here is the uh, report map of that 5.1. USGS gave it an intensity level of 4. And right there you can see it. Intensity level 4. But then also to the east, yeah, we got intensity level 4 also which means it was felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, some would have been woken up. There was one report, one fellow said he was woken up three times last night by these earthquakes. I know darn well with an intensity level of 5.1, yeah, they do have damage. But it says here, felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, some would have been woken up. Dishes, windows, and doors disturbed. Um... Autos rocked noticeably. I think they're downplaying the intensity of these earthquakes or people just are not reporting it. The Iceland monitor has an image of some of the damage from the past earthquakes. This would not be damage from the 5.1. Yeah, there is a lot of seismic activity in the Rinkinis Peninsula. And over 10,000 earthquakes have been detected uh, since, uh, yeah, supposedly the earthquake started at noon. They actually started before that. Majority of the earthquake have been less than a magnitude 4. Yesterday local time there was a magnitude 4.7. That was at 627 a.m. Now that would have been Monday. And then on Sunday at 6 p.m. Uh, they had their magnitude 5.4. That was the earthquake that I uh, reported. And majority of the people said they did feel it. Of course they would, and they also reported that they had broken windows and dishes and things falling. USGS is only reporting eight earthquakes in the last week. Yeah, but they've actually had probably 10,000 of them. The monitor that I used last time is not working, and that would have been this one right here. So I downloaded two monitors, which were all the way across the sea. Let me bring it out for you. Yeah, and they were actually over here in uh, Greenland. 
here's that 5.1 and then there was another one that came in at about 323 maybe I don't know why that monitor uh, closer to um, where the earthquakes are occurring um, is not working um, is it being censored or did power go out yeah I don't know I also found this on Twitter it says INSAR image made from Sentinel-1 satellite images and spans of a period from July 20th to the 1st of August of this year the image clearly shows the magnetic intrusion uh, deformation parallel to the 5.4 earthquake that occurred on the 31st of July let me bring that in and of course the deeper the red the earth um, image yeah that's where magma is uh, yeah coming in at uh, let's go in a little bit farther and I'll bring this over for you and this is where a lot of the earthquakes have been occurring let me bring it out yesterday the uh, police there in Rickenis Peninsula uh, the Department of Civil Protection and Emergency Management decided on a protocol that takes steps in the case of an eruption and what to do and how to work with the Met Office regarding information to the public this here is one of the geothermal plants I believe this is called the Blue Lagoon where people go in and enjoy the heated waters um, from yeah that comes up from the magma underneath people are being advised to make sure no heavy objects are near their sleeping areas where they could fall yeah you don't want to be hit in the head with uh, things you might have around your bed and that would include during the day um, your living areas where you may be sleeping or eating or uh, watching television he, people hiking are also being warned about the possible of mudslides and stones rolling down because of the earthquakes yeah and also bridge damage like they got here and then they got rocks that fell down over here I also received reports of broken water lines here's another area uh, where they could have rock slides and you can see the hikers evidently from yesterday's earthquakes uh, drawers and cupboards all opened food items fell on the floor decorative items uh, on shelves and photo frames all fell to the floor and break it evidently was a big mess and yeah I'm sure they got a big mess again this morning to clean up yeah and they got a uh, breakage of windows uh, plaster and water lines residents are saying that these earthquakes and the one that happened yesterday or the day before different was bigger than and different than the one they had last year just before the volcanic eruption they're saying that the earthquake tremors seem to be lasting longer and they seem to be feeling much larger three days ago people were saying how their pets were acting up and that the earthquakes were like non-stop during the night a lot of people are already packing up just in case there is a volcanic eruption close to the town here's another image that was on ice land monitor looks to be a, a bar or maybe a restaurant you can see all the glasses that probably fell from above yeah all the glass everywhere another report says seismic activities is interpreted as a bout of magma intrusion either dike or a sill from an underlying magma reserve into the crust well these earthquakes are real shallow only about six miles below sea level the earthquake series is far from over and evident that decreasing depth to the earthquakes indicate that magma is closer to the surface now using Google Earth we'll go to the location where they feel that um, very well could be the next volcanic eruption right there Farganos Palash I know I am murdering the name of that uh, mount yeah mountain or mount one or the other and you can see these are the past earthquakes from 
Um, I was tracking before the last eruption about a year ago. But that is where they think it might erupt again. I don't know. It surprised them last time they set up cameras and it ended up erupting in a completely different area. Now today is August 2nd and this was posted on August 1st. It says the activity continued through the night. It is quite clear from this pic that the dike is changing the stress in all the peninsula, therefore generating earthquakes in several systems. Still no clear sign of impending eruption. Sadly, the news reports damage in uh, one of the towns there. And yeah, you can see here straight across. There is also reports that this earthquake was in fact felt in the capital. And the airport, I am sure, is still on alert. Yeah, uh, I wonder how much damage they got there in the capital. Many of you living there do follow me. So if you got damage, please put that information down below. I hope you've removed things from around your couches, um, your sleeping areas. And, you know, they do sell locks for your cupboards so that your dishes and food items don't fall out. And they're really cheap. I did this with all my heavy cupboards. Um, I put straps at the top, you know, on the sides. I also have straps for my uh, TVs bolted to the walls. Yeah, they're cheap too. Yeah, remove that stuff from above the bed. And as I've told people before, if there is a large earthquake, and if you're in an apartment building, get on the floor next to the bed. That way you have the mattress and the frame of the bed holding up the ceiling if it does collapse and maybe a dresser next to it so it kind of makes like a little cubby hole for you guys to hide in and put a pillow on the back of your neck you know they always say have extra food and water and flashlights and a wrench to turn off your uh, gas lines if you got gas lines um, water lines have an emergency whistle so if you are trapped you can blow it and not breathe in maybe uh, particles or things that may be in the air after a, an earthquake. And don't forget um, the pets. Yeah, emergency supplies and a carrier for your pets. Many people there are already planning um, just in case for an evacuation. Um, have a plan in case uh, you have a large earthquake and you're separated where you would meet your loved ones. And if phone lines go down, um, text messaging often works when you can't make a, a phone call because the lines are overloaded uh, for cell phones. But text messaging often still works. So what are your thoughts? Please put that information down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you wish to support my work, I'm also on Patreon. You can join for as little as $1 a month. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.